Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a TJ Maxx try-on haul to share with you guys, and the reason I wanted to do this video for you today is because most people that I talk to don't even realize that you can shop online at TJ Maxx, and that's actually my favorite way to shop. I just don't have the patience to browse like shirt by shirt through their clothing section. I typically just go through like the hanging section on the outside. I love the home decor, I love the purses and the jewelry and all that but I just don't have time to shop through the clothes. I wish I did, because you get some great deals, but I always just buy online. That's my favorite way to shop. I buy home decor stuff all the time on there. And another little tip, I always get the minimum to get free shipping. I think it's $89. Otherwise, you will be paying, I think, $9 for shipping. And also, you can return in-store at any TJ Maxx for free, so that's what I typically do. So that's why I wanted to do this video today. I was definitely in the mood for sweaters and boots, so if you're on the look for those type of things for fall, then definitely keep watching. So here's the first look. Most of the things I picked up are just tops, so I'm gonna keep it pretty simple and keep the same a pair of jeans on probably. These were featured in my Abercrombie haul if you're interested in hearing more about those. So my shoes are from Target. I know they're not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, um, I'm still on the fence about them. I think they're really cute and they're comfortable, but I don't know if they're my style. I'm giving it a little wear sesh here, I guess. But I do feel a little Michael Jackson in them, so I don't know. What do you guys think about these? Let me know in the comments below. Um, this was the first thing I put on. I could not believe that this thing is $100 regular price. I would never spend that much. But it feels like something you would definitely get and see at Nordstrom. I love like the layered look. I do wish this was not as sheer as it is. I think it'd be really cute like if it was a different material on the bottom liner. Um, almost like, where's this one? This one from the loft I shared in my loft haul. I really like how the bottom is on this one. I really like the color. It's like a peachy tan creamy color. And then I like that it's longer in the back. I'm wearing a medium here and I think I would just stick with the medium. I wouldn't want to chance it being like snug. I think that would look really silly. So I like the extra room that the medium gives me and it probably makes it a little bit longer in the back, which I like. So the next sweater is chenille and I'm sure you guys have heard about chenille now, but if you have not, you have to feel it. It's so cozy. And this is actually the first sweater that I have seen that is long enough. Most chenille sweaters that I see are cropped, but I love the length on this one. You can actually get away with wearing it with leggings, which I love. I sized up to a medium because I just wanted it to be cozy and have extra room and look really effortless. And I also liked the ribbed look through here. I think that's cute. I'm a big fan of the color. It's like a seafoam green. It's like a teal, green, blue. I'm a big fan of the color. It's something different that I never see on every single piece, you know, through fall. As for the shoes, I don't know if I'm 100% sold on them just because I don't really love how big they make my feet look since they are a lighter color, which I actually really love the color but um, they have a really low heel and I think that with the light color just make my feet look really long and big. I don't know, what do you guys think? These are from Dolce Vita, which is one of my favorite shoe brands and they're very comfortable. You just slip them on because this side is stretchy, which is nice. Okay, so I think they look a little strange from the front, but I like them from the side, so I don't know. What do you guys think? This ruffle poncho is really cute. I just threw it over a basic long sleeve white tee from Old Navy and I like the color combo. You can definitely see and play up the ruffles. I do wish there was a little ruffle over here or something. This side just seems to be a little boring compared to the fun ruffles over here. Just has a little hole here. Put that over so it doesn't have little arm sleeves. It's like a cape. But I think the ruffles are cute and then these boots basically match perfectly. These are from Madden Girl. Um, these look just like some boots I was eyeing from Mark Fisher. They're not the same color of the one that I was wanting, but they're like the exact same design. So I picked these up. I like them. Um, they have a little bit pointier toe. They come up a little higher. I kind of do want the Mark Fisher ones just because I really like the color of them more than these, but 
think these are great and they look perfect with the poncho. And they do also have a zipper which makes getting in and out really easy. For the price, I think this is a great buy. Um, the boot is, I think, just it feels just like plastic. One thing I want to point out on my pair, just on this one, this looks a little, you know, obviously cheap. You get what you pay for. This side doesn't have that though, so I don't know if you can, maybe you'll just get lucky with a pair that you order. It's on the inside, so you wouldn't even see it, so it's not going to bother me, but I um, just want to show you guys up close. Next is a sweater from Vince Camuto, and I cannot believe it was $119, and I would never spend that much on one sweater. I would just rather either get a pair of shoes with that or a ton of, <laughs> ton of stuff. But the quality is definitely there. It's really soft. It's not scratchy at all. I like the gray color, and the very slight bubble sleeve is really cute. I tied it just because the skirt it needed um, to show a little bit more. And I will link my video on Instagram how I do this without stretching and ruining your sweaters and tops if you're wondering how to do it. The skirt is from H&M. I featured it in my H&M try on haul. I just love the pink and the corduroy. It looks really cute for fall. And then a couple things on these shoes. I think I'm going to try to wear them around the house a little bit to see if they start giving a little more. But the buckle around my ankle feels a little restrictive when I go to walk just because it's tighter around there. I think you can adjust them, but I don't think it's really going to help. I would love if it really opened up a little bit more, but I think they're cute for the price. They give you that designer look for definitely a lot less, which is what TJ Maxx is all about. So of course, all of these sweaters could just be super simple, styled with jeans for everyday wear, but I wanted to give you guys some additional inspiration, so don't forget you can also throw your chunky sweaters over skirts and flowy dresses even if it's not a skirt and it will give you like a long dress type of look so I like the material of it I will say I'm not a huge fan of things around my neck this has a little bit of wiggle room at least I would also knot this I'll show you guys how I would do that next this makes it look a little more casual a little more like effortless it also looks really cute if you tie it up a little bit show the skirt off a little more then I think you look a little more dressed up just because you can see more of the skirt and again if you want to see how I do this I will leave the link to that little short video on my Instagram below. This sweet little top actually caught me by complete surprise. I did not think that I would like it at all. I saw it was, I think, a Junior's line. thought the price would show for it. But you guys, it actually looks really, really good quality. Really nice material. I love all the detail throughout it. Um, it has, I love this neckline. It's just a really sweet little top. I would wear it like this. I would also just untuck it and let it kind of flow and do its thing. I'd wear it with jeans. So I'll probably style this on my blog at some point. You definitely need to wear a tank top underneath this. I paired it with the black one from my Abercrombie haul. I just have it tucked in underneath. But I think it'd look best with a black tank top just because it makes it look not as sheer. Like you couldn't even tell that I have a tank top underneath it. Whereas if I had nude, you'd probably see through that. So I got this little bag. It's definitely bigger than I was expecting. I would like it if it wasn't so long. It's on the shortest It's on the shortest strap right now and it's like under my butt. So that's a bummer. I do like the tassels. It reminds me of one that is from Nordstrom. I also don't love like how you get in it because you can't just open this flap. You have to unzip this, which who has time for that? Like no. I have to like no, I don't have time for this. Here's another simple basic sweater. The arms are definitely a little scratchy to me. Um, they f It fits really good. I'm actually surprised it fits so well. I think it is flattering on. I do like the little sleeve detail. Gives it a little something because it is pretty basic. I mean, the sweater is fine. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. It does feel a little scratchy though. Here's the last thing. This cardigan is definitely a no for me. I don't think it's flattering. I don't think it's cute and it's not soft. So it also feels lopsided. This side feels heavier. It's longer. There's more material over there. So I'm not even sure what's going on there, but yeah, don't waste your time with this one. Those were all the things that caught my eye while browsing on tjmax.com. I obviously was in the mood for some sweaters and boots. 
So that's basically all the things I picked up, but I'm always browsing on there. So let me know if you want to keep seeing some TJ Maxx hauls. That's one of my favorite stores to shop at because you get some really great deals. But thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and I'll see you in my next video.